Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and as you can see it's that wonderful time again, it's battle time so let's check out what he brought on PC, then we're gonna be hopping on over to console. The brand new items are two new cosmetics, unfortunately my friends, you get these things for your orbiter and I'll be honest, I don't know if they actually do something or not, they do seem to be animated so maybe they're a part of something, but as always cosmetics are subjective and entirely up to you. But we do get prime region, prime flow, prime ravage, Pistol ammo mutation, shotgun ammo mutation, and rifle ammo mutation. Now from these six prime mods, prior number one on flow and ravage. Critical damage for your shotguns and maximum energy for your warframe. Do try to pick at least one copy of each. Prior number two will go to prime region. Now this one in combination with the sacrifice mod will allow you to get some nice reses. And the beauty of this one is the fact that it doesn't need to be maxed all the way out. One from the top will still get you all the free reses but with like something 95% max self or 90% max self. It doesn't really matter so once again one from the top. Mm. Ammo mutations. To be honest these are pointless. Honestly the normal versions do the job just fine and that's the doorbell. What was I saying? Oh yeah, ammo mutations, the normal versions do the job just fine, so you don't really need these. You can fully skip and save yourself about 1200 ducats, unless you're a completionist. And if you just want to have them for the sake of having them, then there you go. When it comes to weapons, you got the Prisma Tetra. Now this one, mm. link the cards right now for a full review on the weapon. I'll be honest, it's not the most powerful primary weapon in the game. Definitely not. You can still make something out of it, but again, check out the review. It's mostly mastery fodder, I'll be honest here. The Ignis Wraith, however, is an entirely different story. This is one of the most powerful primary weapons in the game, no questions about it. But the reason you see it from battle is not necessarily for the guys on console. When, I'm, when I say console, I mean Xbox and PlayStation or the guys on PC. This one is being brought by battle for the guys on Nintendo Switch because they never got the event that brought the initial blueprints for the Ignis Wraith. The point is, if you're on PC, don't buy it from battle. Ask in the trade chat, hey, can I have a Ignis Wraith blueprint? A decent tenor will offer it to you for free and others charge you plat. So, there you go, dims the brakes. What else we got? Cosmetics, subjective of course, cosmetics. Except this one, the Axie A2 will get you the Aclex Prime. Now the Aclex Prime, some people love it, some people hate it. It's the only secondary weapon to charge mastery rank 15. Well, to charge, to require mastery rank 15. It packs one hell of a punch, but she's pretty difficult to handle. Once again, link the cards right now for a full review on this glorious secondary weapon. And in case you don't have Inaros, pick up the Sands of Inaros blueprint, which will eventually get you the Inaros Warframe. Now, with that out of the way, let's hop on over to console. Starting off with the Zylock, though, this one is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful secondary weapon. Link the cards right now for a full review on it, but it, it doesn't really pack that big of a punch. So if you're thinking, I'm gonna pick up the Zylock and I'm gonna murder everything at no matter the level, you would be wrong. So bear that one in mind. It's not really that powerful, but it is quite pretty and it also has a duplex trigger system so you might want to factor that into your decision it's 500 ducats so it's not exactly super cheap skip if you don't have a lot of ducats primed animal instinct and prime pack leader now these two definitely have their uses but they're not prior one prior one for prime pressure point this is melee damage try to pick up at least one copy and if you have some ducats left over go for animal instinct and pack leader and skip the zylock what else you guys got? Pummel, Crash Course, Collision Force, and Full Contact. Now these are the impact mods, and you don't really need to pick them up from battle. Not only that, you're not wasting your ducats, but you can farm them from the game, normally, right? Very rarely a plus impact mod is useful on any build. We can talk about a stat stick for Atlas when it comes to something like that, but again, skip on all these four. We got the Mara Detron, my friends, one of the best secondary weapons in the game. Link the cards right now if you want to see a full review on this glorious weapon. Make it prior one with prime pressure point. Prisma Krakata, one of the most beloved primary weapons in the game. I love it, honestly. It's not one of the top runners, so to speak, but you should have one in your collection. At least one Prisma Krakata. Now, keep in mind that if you guys want to make a little bit of prat, what you can do is pick up multiple copies of these here, maybe Prime Pressure Point, maybe a couple of more Mara Detrons, and sell them later down the line. As long as you don't level the weapon, you can trade it to other player so don't touch it okay and you will be able to sell it normally they sell on pc between 50 and 100 plat depending on how when was the last time that barrel brought them 
And other than that on console we got a whole bunch of cosmetics and these are subjective and up to you. Pick up the Sands of Inaros blueprint if you do not have the Inaros Warframe. And I do believe my friends that is pretty much it. Nice battles, okay decent selections I gotta say, but I'm still yearning for that brand new exciting item that kind of fails to show up. As always, my name is Malazar, thank you guys so much for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Until next time my friends, bye bye.